We begin with tens of thousands of visitors continue to fly into the state each day. And today, a large group made up of mostly native Hawaiians gathered at a popular tourist spot to educate visitors and to tell state leaders they're prioritizing tourism over residents. Here's Nikki Shenfeld with tonight's top story. Laniakea is a popular stop for many visitors to stop and look at turtles. Community members from across the island came out to educate, clean, and let drivers passing by know that these popular stops are sacred and they're being overrun and overwhelmed by tourists. The gridlock at Laniakea has been an issue on Oahu's North Shore for nearly two decades, and there is still no fix. In 2020, North Shore residents could drive freely between Waialua and Sunset without worrying about traffic. But the increase in tourism has put the issue in the spotlight once again, and videos of tourists harassing turtles have surfaced. Residents say officials aren't doing anything to address the mounting issues. Locals and Kanaka Maoli are being told to stop gathering. Our keiki sports are canceled, while luau's for hundreds of unmasked visitors are taking place every night. Nothing is sacred with the tourist industry. Hawaii has become a playground for visitors. On Sunday, several Native Hawaiian organizations blocked off the area. People park at Laniakea to give the Honu a day of rest. Education's not promoted at all and needs to be revisited on how to effectively educate the tourists as they come to visit us. The over-tourism is a real thing and we're tired of being put second. North Shore residents plan their days around the traffic, while thousands of visitors visit the area daily. Some come in tour buses, which are not supposed to stop at Laniakea. Have the, the tour guides educate them while they're coming down on the tour buses. You know, they, we see a lot of the tour buses come here, they offload the people. It's clear that the tourists don't know what's going on. They go on the rocks, they fall. They also step on the rocks, which is the Honu's food, and kill all the limu. From signs, handouts, even draping lei to prevent tourists from crowding the area Honu Rest, residents spent the day educating. We have a pledge that we're asking all tourists to take. It's a pledge asking visitors to Hawaii to please respect this place for the sake of our children. This is not a playground for them to do whatever it is they want to do. This is our home. The city said in a statement last week, tour buses should not be stopping in areas where it is dangerous to use the highway. At Laniakea, there are no parking signs that prohibit bus loading and unloading. As for solutions to the traffic, the State Department of Transportation said in a statement, they continue working with the city on a solution to improve safety for the stretch of highway. And a draft for the realignment of Kamehameha Highway will be published later this month. Nikki Schoenfeld, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.